Hello, today on We Heard It on the Radio, we listen to Metallica's latest single, Atlas Rise, and see if there's still energy in the 35-year-old career. Metallica's upcoming album, Hardwired to Self-Destruction, will be coming out in the next three weeks and I believe the due date is the 18th of November, so not long. Um, and we've heard three singles so far. The first one, Hardwired, was kind of dull. It was a bit lacking in things like ha Hammett's typical solo um, medleys and all that sort of thing, so it was a bit of a, uh, well it's Metallica, it's not good Metallica though. Next we had a uh, mod to a flame or something like that, and that was really good. It, it brought more of what we know Metallica can do, what they can present to us. It wasn't one of their best tracks by any stretch of the imagination, but it was a solid track. And um, now they've released uh, Atlas Rise, and that is really bringing to the forefront what they can do. It's got the weight and stylings of Death Magnetic, which I'm always 50-50 on my opinions on some of it was good, but some of it suffered from the issues of the Wall of Noise, which I'm sure many of you would agree with. But it tempered that with things like the solo stylings from the Black Album and Kill 'Em All. And it had the production quality, which is really important for Metallica. They, they thrive on good, solid, clear, crisp uh, production quality. If it's... They can go loud, but they don't work well when it starts to distort too much. Saint Anger is a perfect example of when the distortion gets too much and also the sounding like it was recorded in an echo chamber on tin pans. Uh, but yeah, Atlas Rise. Brilliant song. Hopefully a mark for the quality of the rest of the album. I mean, we're two for one so far. Two deep... Two really good songs, one eh song. Hopefully Atlas Rise is the benchmark. So I suppose in order, if you were to rank things, Atlas Rise would be here, Moth to a Flame would be here, and Hardwired would be down here can't even see in the camp in the view so so we've got um, Atlas Rise, Mod to a Flame, Hardwired. Now um, in the video itself it kind of encapsulates how Metallica songs, you can kind of tell what the behind the scenes are for some of them. Like St. Anger, it sounded terrible. Behind the scenes, it was terrible. Alice Rise, when you see the music video, you can see they're actually having fun. Although they are seeming a bit, a bit like old dads at the moment, which they kind of are. But, I mean, most of them are in their 50s, I think. So... They are old dads at this point, but they still look like they're having fun with the music. It feels like they've 
gotten over their slump, although that slump seemed to to last like eight years. Um, well, technically, if you're going by my opinions of Death Magnetic, that slump lasted for 13 years. Whew. But they seem to be back on form with Atlas Rise. Um, the the only really real complaint is James's voice is sounding a bit weak at points. Again, the problem that was a problem that was in inextricably linked with Death Magnetic. His voice was wavering at points. I think he might need a bit of. Um, he might need to get a bit more vocal training because it it seems like age is catching up with him a bit singing wise so and also how horribly he's treated his body but he does still have power in his voice it's just it's wavering slightly so might be you know Depending on how things go, depending on how the other songs sound, it might be an idea for in future if he gets some vocal training. I mean, he can sing, but he needs to... he needs a bit of training to learn how to counteract the ravages of alcoholism. But yeah, Atlas Rise, great song, definitely listen to it, and I'm really hoping it is a benchmark for the rest of the album. So, hopefully the rest of the album is better than this, because I've been waiting for so long for an actual, honest to god, good Metallica album. For the past... Uh, since Reload, well, I suppose since Sound of Music, um, or Symphony of Metallica, whatever S and M stands for, I know it's not sadomasochism, so whatever. But I've been waiting for a good fifteen years for an honest to god good Metallica album. I'm not expecting anything great. But I do want something good, not something that makes me feel very ambivalent throughout the album. So hopefully this the fact that we, we're at a two for what two thirds of the singles have actually been really good. Hopefully that is indicative of the album. I know I'm repeating myself over and over, but Metallica has been a bit of a frustrating bugbear for me because I grew up listening to their music. Um, it's... As you can probably tell, I'm wearing a Metallica t-shirt, so I am a fan, but their latest albums... Well, <laughs> can you really call them latest albums when they were... The last one was released almost ten years ago. Um, but yeah, the well, actually, correction. If we're counting Lulu, much as I wish I didn't have to count that, because oh god, I've. You see, I actually forgot Lulu existed because it was so... I, I blanked it from my memory. Because so far we've had Saint Anger sucked. Uh, just going through the albums they've released in, you know, the last 16 years. Saint Anger sucked. Death Magnetic was the... If I was to rank it, I'd give it a 2.5 out of 5. Most of that score is reduced by the fact that the wall of noise is a major issue. And 
there's a couple of songs that just they should have just scrapped um, if it was up to me I, I would actually replace it. I would actually take um, I'd probably take Atlas Rise and um, switch it out for one of the songs on Death Magnetic. Probably the titular track. Uh, or, well, I say the titular track, the track that contains the phrase Death Magnetic. Uh, it's been so long since I listened to the album, I can't actually remember most of the titles except for Cyanide. Um, you've got some bass playing going on and that's alright, but you could really do with a bit more weight to this song. Um, Hammett is on point. Uh, in the video it actually says Hammett is on fire and that is an accurate description. Uh, Lars seems to have actually gotten some training in with drumming so we've actually got improvement from Lars. Holy shit! It only took you 15 years! <laughs> um, now that's not fair. Um, actually it probably is if you think Death Magnetic in between Lulu and fucking Saint Anger. But, yeah, it's a weighty song, but it, need, it could have done with a bit more bass. I, I really like when bass is, is emphasised in songs, so it would have been nice to hear um, Robert Trujillo actually sh be showcased a bit more. Hopefully that will turn up in other songs. We'll have to wait and see. Um, I will be... When it comes to it, me and Pierce will be reviewing the full album when it comes out, so keep on the lookout for that review. Uh, for this, this song in particular, it gets four uh, Ayn it gets four Ayn Rands out of five and that and that's it for this this episode I shall catch you on the next um, once more with feeling and the next we heard it on the radio bye